So you clicked on this video wanting to know how to play Call of Duty Mobile on either a Mac or PC computer. Well, as you can see here, it's entirely possible. And I wanted to show exactly how you can do that in today's video. Hello everyone, this is Exotic Gaming here. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be super, super helpful and super informative and a little bit complex, so be prepared. We're going to be explaining how to get Call of Duty Mobile on either Mac or a Windows computer, and I hope it's going to help you guys out. Make sure to leave a like if you learned something new, and subscribe to my channel for more Call of Duty Mobile content. I have a lot of different videos on this game on my channel, and without further ado, let's jump into this. Alright guys, so here we are now on my Windows computer's home screen. Listen very carefully, if you are a Mac user, you can install this program on your Mac or MacBook. I am explaining how to get this program first on Windows because it's a little bit different for Mac. So if you are a Mac user, you can feel free to skip a couple of minutes to the point where you see my Mac's home screen. However, if you are a Windows user, sit back and pay attention. First off, what you are going to do is open up your web browser. Doesn't matter which one you open up as long as it installs files. Type in Memu on Google, M-E-M-U, and click the first link that appears memeuplay.com. Click that download button. Wait for it to show up at the bottom of your screen. When you click on that, minimize your web browser, click that yes button, and then it's going to begin installing Memeu on your computer's home screen. You're going to go through that whole process of installing this. You're going to decline all of the sponsored offers that you have because you don't need to worry about having any other programs installed on your computer. The only thing you're focused on is Memeu. All of these other things don't matter. You can go down to your bottom bar here and you can see that it's actually going to install pretty quickly here. Now, it might get stuck at 97% for a few seconds. Just be patient, wait for it to finish up, and then eventually a browser should pop up here and it will just say thank you for installing Memeu and you'll be good. And it should be coming up with that pop-up pretty soon. We've been stuck at 97% for about, there we go. All right, sweet. Thank you for installing Memeu app player. Exit out of that, click finish, click launch now and it's going to begin launching Mimu for the very first time. This is the very first screen you should see on your emulator here. You can scroll through and you can click that X button up at the top right of your screen. And there we go. As you can see, we are now on our home screen of Mimu. You might have these ad apps already installed. You can uninstall those. You're never going to play those games, any of these ones right here. You're focused on Call of Duty Mobile. So that is what we're going to begin installing. All right, so if you're a Mac user, let's get this started. What you're gonna do first is open up Safari, Google Chrome, whatever web browser you use, and you're going to simply search Nox, N-O-X. When it opens up Google or the default search engine that you have, you're going to click on this one, bignox.com. Wait for this website to load up. It should automatically detect you are on a Mac. If not, there might be a Mac version button down here. But if it says Windows version, it automatically detects you're on Mac. Click that download button and you're set. Wait for the download to go through. As you can see, I already have this file downloaded myself, so I'm going to double click on this right here. Click Agree, and then it's going to finish up and install the actual Knox App Player app to my Applications folder. I'm going to replace this because I already had it on my Applications folder, and then we're good. So you can exit out of all of these web browsers, other stuff like this, open up your launch pad, and then click on Knox App Player for the very first time. Pretty simple steps so far, and there's only one complicated step that we're going to get into in just a little bit. You do have to wait a little bit when you're opening up Knox App Player for the very first time, because obviously, as you can see here, it's going to verify, and then once you finally open up the program, it's going to take a little bit for that number to get to 100%, and then you're finally ready. So... If you're sitting there waiting for Knox to load up for the very first time, you might have an issue where it gets stuck at 99%. I had that issue. It got to 99% and then stopped. If you have that issue, this is what you're going to want to do if you're on Mac. You're going to open up Safari and either type in virtualbox.org or click the link that I provided down below in the description. If you're on a MacBook, you should be able to simply click this right here. OS X hosts, and when you click on that, it's going to automatically install some stuff onto your computer. 
That's going to be the .dmg installation file for VirtualBox. And VirtualBox is really cool. It basically allows you to run a lot more programs that you wouldn't normally be able to run on your MacBook or even on your regular Mac. So it opens up a whole new realm of possibilities for your computer. So here we are. We finally got it to load up. After you finish that, you're going to double click on that. So you're going to exit out of your browser, wait for this to verify and load up VirtualBox for the very first time. And it's going to look a little weird. It's going to look like you're like hacking into your computer in some sort of way. You might have to actually authorize some privileges to VirtualBox. So you're going to double click on that. And then you're going to click continue, click continue, and then click install. Put your password in. It's going to install VirtualBox or even see if it works on your computer. If it says it's not compatible for your computer, you might have to go back and install the earlier versions of VirtualBox. So as you can see here, please use version 5.2 if you still need support for 32-bit hosts. So if you have a lower stat computer that has lower performance, you might very well need this. Or if you have a very old MacBook. But... I don't have that issue. The installation was successful for me. So I'm going to close that, move the installer to trash, and then I'm going to go to my launch pad and open up VirtualBox for the very first time. It's going to load up. And as you can see, there are a variety of different Knox things that say inaccessible. You're going to look for the one that says powered off. What you're going to do is you're going to click on that and then click start. And as you will see here, it's going to have this weird little source code, as I mentioned earlier. It might actually come up with something on the other side of your screen that's going to say something like, you need to have authorization, go to your system preferences, just follow those steps, allow this program to make changes on your computer, and then you should be good. So you can exit out of that. And then after this point, you can just exit out here. Well, not exit out, just minimize it. It's very important you minimize it and don't exit out completely. Then you can go back over to Knox, open this up, and it should load up to 100%. And finally on the main screen of the program. There we go. It loaded up a lot faster than I originally expected. So what you're gonna do here, you might actually have some random ad sponsored apps install. You can remove those right to the trash if you want to, like I'm never going to play that app ever. And hey, at this point, if you are a Mac user, just follow the Windows steps. Even though it's a different program, everything is exactly the same. They're both Android emulators. You're going to be able to get Call of Duty Mobile either way following these next few steps. Maximize this so you can get the full experience of playing on your whole computer screen. Click on this, open up your browser, and you are going to search www.tap.io. Search that. Click that free download button at the bottom right of your screen. And just like with a regular Android device, you can swipe down from the top to see your installs. So click and drag down. You'll see download complete. Click on that. Click next and then click install. It won't take too long to install TapTap, but TapTap is awesome. It's basically an alternative to the Google Play Store. You can get a lot of free apps this way and a lot of other things just like Call of Duty Mobile. Open that up for the very first time. It's probably going to make it vertical just because TapTap Tap isn't a horizontal app, but it doesn't really matter because at this point, all you're going to do is click that search button and it might even show up right here, Call of Duty Legends of War. If not, you can click on the search bar and search Call of Duty. Simple as that, all right? Before you install this program, you're going to need to install a VPN. Do not click this yet. You can click this try button if you want, but exit out of this, all right? You're going to go open up the Play Store and you're going to need to sign into a Google account. It's just like a regular Android device. You're not going to be able to install apps just out of the blue. So as it's going to update my Google app here, you're either going to need to create a new Google account, which I would personally recommend so you have your own separate Google account for Call of Duty Mobile, or sign into one that you already have. The only thing with signing into a Google account that you already have is you're probably not going to be in the proper region for the beta. So keep that in mind. 
All right, so I went through the whole process. I created my own Google accounts here, and I have this set specifically for this game. At this point in time, what you are going to search on the Google Play Store is UFO. It might even show up here, UFO VPN Basic. This is so critical because this is going to connect you to the proper beta country. Now, at the time that I am recording this video, this video is being recorded a few days before it's being posted. The beta is for Australia. So only people with their device set in Australia are going to be able to play this game. If you're watching this many weeks after this video is being posted and the beta has changed to, say, for example, Canada, you're going to need to connect to a Canadian VPN and that way you're going to be able to play this game here. So this is the thing, it is free, right? There's a lot of other VPNs that you can pay money in order to connect to Australia. This one's free, but what you need to do is you need to watch several ads in order to get coins in order to connect for a decent amount of time. So you need to see how long you want to connect for. Maybe you wanna play for an hour and you're going to have to watch one ad for every 20 minutes of connection. So you're gonna need to watch three ads. Pretty simple, I'm gonna watch some ads myself and I'll get to you in a sec. So guys, I watched a couple of different ads. If I click this little button here at the top left of my screen, you'll see I have one hour and nine minutes remaining. And if you go click choose location, you'll see that you can click Call of Duty Mobile and the country that the closed beta is currently out on should be there. It's going to say Australia for me. I'm not going to connect to that just yet, okay? Because I want to at least install the app for Call of Duty Legends of War. If I'm connected to an Australian VPN, when I'm installing this, it's going to take hours to install this. Luckily, I don't have to worry about that. I can click install here on Call of Duty Legends of War back on TapTap. Tap. If you guys remember, it should be right there at your search results, the very top one. You wanna click the one that says US, and it's going to take a second. It might say try instead of install, and then when you click that try button, it's going to say, do you want to? It's in beta. You click yes, install. It's going to begin installing Call of Duty on your, on your device. So as you can see, it's not taking too long to install Call of Duty Legends of War. Again, this, of course, always depends on your internet speed. It should be pretty quick. If you mistakenly connected to that Australian VPN before you installed, then yeah, it's going to be very, very slow. Luckily for me, we're not connected to it just yet, but very, very important, do not open this up yet until you're connected to the Australian VPN, okay? Because or if, you do, if you don't connect to it, it's gonna say you're not allowed to, all right? Allow, it's going to install this, and in just a few seconds, Call of Duty will now be installed on our computer. There we go. Do not click open, click done. All right, then you're going to exit out of this right here. Open up UFO VPN Basic. Wait for this app to load up. You should have your free time here, my one hour and nine minutes, which is plenty enough in order to play this game here for this video. Connect to Call of Duty Mobile, COD M Australia. And there we go. We're now connected to the Australian VPN. We can, we can exit out of this now. We can open up Call of Duty Mobile and you'll see that it won't actually come up with an error that, for whatever reason, it's not going to run on our computer. So as you can see here, you might come up with an error, but luckily, as you can see here, we're validating the game build. It's going to begin installing some additional files, and we're going to be set. All right, so I think we're pretty much close to having this load up. We're good here. We can click the Confirm button. We can click agree, and I'm going to log in as a guest, I guess. It doesn't really matter, because when you're doing these beta versions, it's going to reset your progress when the beta closes anyways. But look at this here. We're now playing Call of Duty Mobile on our computer. I'm going to put exotic... I was going to put exotic on PC, but that probably isn't uh, very smart, because I'd get banned. Exotic second account. How about that? There we go. Okay. Create new accounts. And there we go. So here's the thing. If you're watching this, you're going to want to know how to control this to the absolute best here. If you click away from this video right now, you're really not going to be able to 
control Call of Duty Mobile very well. The nice thing with Meme Mew, Knocks Out Player doesn't necessarily do this, is it will automatically put certain controls in the right spots for you. However, sometimes it glitches and it doesn't necessarily do that. So you literally need to use your mouse to physically move your character before you actually get to the point where you can customize the controls yourself. So we're going to do this the hard way, as if this actually didn't automatically show this for me. I'm going to go through the tutorial myself. This is what you're going to do. Just go through the tutorial, and then once we get to a regular multiplayer game, then I'm going to show you guys exactly how to customize your controls in the right way so you can play this mobile game like a computer game. All right, so I went through the whole tutorial. I am now on that very first bot match you get when you're first starting to learn how to play this game. And I want to show you guys how you can customize your controls to the best so you can actually run this the proper way. On Meme you, go to the top right of your screen, click this little keyboard button right here, okay? It might minimize this. No worries. There's really no issue here, okay? You're going to basically click and drag these buttons to the proper places on your screen, okay? A lot of these might already be in the proper spot, like one, two, this makes sense, right? You're going to click and drag buttons over the right spot and then type something on your keyboard in order to indicate, well, that's what you want to do, right? So if I wanted to put space as my jump, for example, I would click and drag this over here and then type the space bar, bam, we're good, all right? Click and drag the left shoot over there. Click and drag the crosshair to obviously where the crosshair is on your screen. One, two, G, C for crouch, R for reload, F. Uh, I'm not really sure what that one is. And then, you know, you can customize other things if you want to. You can go through that more in depth later on. I, you know, I might even put something like this here and put M for map. That could be something you might want to do. And then for your settings, you could even put something like, um, I don't know, L. L for settings. Why not do something a little bit different here? And then once you're finished, you can either choose if you want to see the overlaying buttons or if you want to have an uninterrupted view, you can just put it down to zero, okay? I'm going to put it at 100% because I'm still not 100% familiar with it yet, and that's what I would recommend you guys doing first off. So click the save button, and at this point in time, you're obviously not going to want to have to see your mouse here and literally click and drag your mouse to do your view, right? This is what I would do. You might have a different preference for which button you want to press, but as you can see, the little button here in the center of your crosshair indicates what button you press where you want to lock and unlock your crosshair, right? I actually might even put it as Q. I think Q is probably the best here. It just works the easiest for me. When I'm using WASD, I can quickly press Q and then bam, I'm now actually using my mouse to control. And I mean, look at this. It's it's really simple. If I need to maybe switch out of a match or something like that, I can press Q again. I now have my mouse freely moving around, and then I can just go right back to doing this again. Simple as that. And I can be back playing Call of Duty Mobile right here on my computer. I mean, it's just, it's crazy that they actually allow this. Um, but it works. And I wanted to show it to you all here in this video. So, um... Try it now while you can. It's really freaking cool to be able to play Call of Duty Mobile here on your computer. I mean, as you can see, it runs basically as well as any Call of Duty PC game or console game. And, I mean, you're literally just playing a mobile game on your computer. Pretty pretty incredible stuff. It's really, really cool. And um, I just ran out of ammo. Let's see if we can get a knifing kill here on this guy. Whew. Maybe not. There we go. Nice. All right. So, um... Yeah, that's basically it here. Just go play around with it. Learn how the controls work. We're not really doing anything else. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found this useful and you can now play Call of Duty Mobile on your PC. Again, if the beta is in a different country, you're obviously not going to want to connect to an Australian VPN. You're going to want to connect to any other country that the beta is currently in, okay? And uh, yeah, that's it. We just won. Sweet. So thank you all for watching, guys. I'm going to click Q again, obviously, in order to go into that free mouse mode. And there we go. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel for more Call of Duty mobile content, and I'll see you all later.